Clash of Clans is falling apart. The game, as of recently, is left in shambles. Although it's not necessarily dying straight up, I think a majority of you can agree that the game is not in the best shape and has definitely seen better days. I mean, yes, the game is getting more updates, but bigger is not always better. Today, I'll get into the major problem and some solutions that could be implemented to save the game. It's important to know that before going forward, I'm going to be speaking about my experience and my views of the game. I'm aware that a lot of you have different opinions and thoughts, but I want those of you to hear me out and then leave your ideas in the comments below. The main complication that Clash of Clans is facing today is the recent state of the hero system and how it works. Although that is only a fraction of the game we see today, heroes impact a majority of things and in fact are a fundamental pillar of the game itself. Without heroes, there would be no 3 star, no war attacks, no strategies, no skins, no legends league, no clan war league, and so much more. As of the new Town Hall 16 update, heroes have been completely reworked from the ground up. Many players are fine with this update they like and enjoy to use or as to progress through the game. However, I've seen and speculated over the past few days that there is definitely a key problem with the game, and a Reddit user sums this up perfectly. The post goes over the newly introduced hero equipment, which in order to be enjoyed to the fullest requires ores to be maxed, which heavily rely on star bonus, but mainly on winning wars. And in order to win wars in a highly active and competitive clan, you would without a doubt require strong heroes. Hence, you choose to upgrade them, and so leading you to participate in wars and clan war league without the fundamental heroes, which ultimately results you in missing out on a higher war loot bonus than you could have claimed. Understandably a problem, but with a new update, a lot of other issues arose again revolving around heroes. This time, players started to realize that upgrading heroes no longer boosts their abilities as this is a separate feature. Rather, it only increases their hit points and damage per second. Again, with a new update, the imbalance of these costs compared to value is just ridiculous. Not to mention, even the abilities themselves have ridiculous costs. This picture sums it up perfectly. I mean, 2,500 shiny ores just for 0.1 second duration increase, is this really what the game has come to? In terms of game declination, a video made by Clash Tips summarizes this beautifully, going in depth about how the game is dying, not necessarily due to the hero cycle like talked about above, but for several other reasons, so you should definitely go check that out. So what are some of the possible solutions that could be implemented to help save the game from this corrupted hero cycle that has been created? One option that so many people have already suggested is considering being able to upgrade and use the heroes simultaneously. The thought of doing that is so far out of reach since that is something that Darian the community manager has already ruled out. Nonetheless, there are other ways to approach this. Even though it's clearly stated that heroes can't be upgraded while being used, it's important to realize that these comments were made before the update of the ore resource and the complications it brought along with it. And there are other ways to resolve this issue. I understand that Clash of Clans realizes that upgrading and utilizing a hero simultaneously may be a difficult task and definitely may be seen as overpowered, so maybe the team could make it so that when you are upgrading and using the hero at the same time, the resource cost and wait time will be increased to balance out these changes. Another way of resolving this as suggested again by the community is by implementing a way to passively gain ores while playing Clash of Clans, as this is something that is missing from the game. Unlike all the other primary resources, even gems now have their own mine to generate passive income on the side. However, ores still do not. Recently, Havoc Gaming created a concept design of an ore mine that was created in the builder base, which I find to be very, very fitting. 
Additionally, maybe the hero book could be buffed by providing two or three instant hero levels rather than just one, as now the value to reward ratio is so unbalanced. You're getting an instant upgrade time of one hero level for 500 gems. That is a crazy cost considering that these books provide less and less value as the hero equipment has moved to the blacksmith. Rather, something else that has been proven more useful instead is the hero potion. This potion is extremely powerful when it comes to rushed bases and can definitely help boost hero levels to their maximum level for the set town hall, which is overpowered since before it was only five levels and now it's set to the maximum town hall level that you have. With all of this information at hand, we can now question the integrity and usefulness of hero levels. As we said before, hero levels require upgrading meaning no utilizing during clan wars, meaning less ore resources. So are they even worth the upgrade? There are so, so many attack strategies nowadays that don't even require max level heroes. In one of my previous videos, I showcased Itsu three-starring a max Town Hall 16 base with level one heroes. And some of you claimed that you need a certain level of proficiency to achieve this, as Itsu is a professional unlike us. However, if you do look closely at the video, Itsu didn't do anything special, he just used E-Drag Spam, which is a very easy tactic that I'm sure we can all utilize. Additionally, if you were up against a more difficult mirror, you can always use a hero potion to help you effectively destroy the opposing base. Well guys, you've reached the end of the video, I have provided all the facts, research, and general information that you guys can take however you like. Although Clash of Clans is not going to be dead before we know it, I can assure you that the game is not the same, and with the hero cycle being broken, it has ruined the game for many competitive players that are not willing to spend money on their heroes. However, on the contrary, Supercell has the most employees it's ever had before, boosting out events, updates, and features faster than ever. Who knows? That might help them pick the game back up or might even help the devs find a solution to this overlapping hero cycle crisis. That's pretty much it for now. Thank you guys so much for the love on the recent videos. It really means a lot. Peace out and take care.